Hello friends, uh, in this video we will be talking about caspase 3. Now this is a very very important uh, protein caspase 3 actually. It is coded by a gene which is also called as caspase 3 and uh, this protein is related with uh, apoptosis or programmed cell death. Actually it is related with uh, the intrinsic pathway of apoptosis inside the cell which is very very important and it is related with certain very very much famous disease right now which is Parkinson's disease uh, and this caspase 3 modulate the cell to die in certain extent. So let's talk about that in detail how this process actually works. So uh, for this to work actually we have you know cell membrane and we are having the receptor molecules coming there and the receptor molecule there are other in the receptor molecule other signaling molecule will bind. Once the signaling molecule binds they have a death domain a protein which has a domain called death domain because this whole process is related with the cell death. So the domain which is responsible for triggering the caspase pathway that protein is termed as death domain containing protein. So that protein interacts with death domain and then finally they interact with caspase 8 and they activates caspase 8. Now you know caspases are set of proteins which are related with all this type of intrinsic apoptosis pathway of the cell and once the caspase is produced it is not active and that form of caspase is termed as procaspases. Once it is active it is called as caspase. So here we know caspase 8 is becoming active. So once the caspase 8 is active now that caspase 8 will go and they will activate caspase 3 because you know caspase 3 is heart of all this intrinsic pathway because ultimately caspase 3 will bring the death to the cell and that's what uh, we want because you know in certain cases cell becomes very ill it is becoming infected with bacteria and viruses so in that case we need to kill that cell and the only pathway to do that only way to deal with that is activating caspase 3 and ultimately caspase 3 will kill the cell using other type of you know mechanism that I'm not going to talk about this video but actually caspase 8 finally activates caspase 3 because procaspase is the earlier form which is the early stage of caspase after the translation and then procaspase is turned into caspase 3 and caspase 3 will bring the death. This is one simple linear pathway of, uh, of uh, apoptosis there. Another pathway is there that is due to the mitochondrial pathway which which is having you know apoptotic trigger any kind of apoptotic, apoptotic trigger is there from outside and actually mitochondria is having cytochrome c bind with it right we all know that mitochondria is filled with cytochrome c molecules now once apoptotic trigger reaches there to the mitochondria it forces the mitochondria to lose this cytochrome c once the mitochondria loses the cytochrome c as you can see here cytochrome c is becoming free now so free cytochrome c can go and activate and, and release caspase 9. You know caspase 9 like ca caspase 8 can also activate caspase 3, right? So ultimately if caspase 3 is a heart of all this process because ultimately the death will be brought by caspase 3. Now this caspase 3 can be activated by either caspase 8 or caspase 9. How caspase 8 activate caspase 3? We have already seen that. But caspase 9 can also activate caspase 3. But it is blocked with another protein called APAF1. APAF1 is inhibitor of caspase 9. So once APAF1 is bound with caspase 9, caspase 9 will no longer activate and it's no longer free to activate caspase 3. Right? So in this case, once the cytochrome C becomes free, the cytochrome C will go and bind with caspase 9. Once this cytochrome C will go and bind with caspase 9, now the caspase 9 will become free. Once the caspase 9 becomes free, then caspase 9 will go and then it activates the procaspase into caspase 3. Now finally, caspase 3 is activated and then caspase 3 will bring death via certain molecular mechanism, right? And usually the molecular mechanism sometimes cause like a causing hole in mitochondria sometimes or sometimes you know ultimately it will bulge out the new uh, bulge out the cell or cytoplasm with the membrane particles and then they will come out so that's how the death is actually brought about by caspase 9 but caspase 9 is in the central role of all this intrinsic pathway of apoptosis and uh, caspase 9 is related with alzheimer's disease it is related with alzheimer's disease because in alzheimer's disease uh, there are neurodegeneration 
where the nerve cells start to die. Now in that case, uh, caspase 3 will go and kill those nerve cells. Inside the nerve cell, this pathway activates, caspase 3 activates, it will kill that nerve cell. And then finally, it will cre create plaques in the brain and different regions of the brain, which finally relates with uh, forgetting memories and all this stuff, right? So that's how the caspase 3 actually works, guys. And I hope that's helpful. Thank you.